news over. He tried to. Huh? I started the news over. He got him blocked out. You see, in the Bible, there was a dying thief. And we know his guilt of a thief because the Bible says he was a thief. And the scriptures put forth that thou shalt not steal. Now, I don't know if that thief was Jewish or Gentile, but he was guilty. And on that cross of his, when he looked over to the other side, he saw Jesus. The middle cross. And when he looked over, he saw another dying thief. The Bible said that there were three crosses that day. There were two thieves and Jesus in the midst. And one of them dying thieves turned to Jesus and repented of his sins. He said, Jesus, when thou enterest into thy kingdom, remember me. The other thief told Jesus and ridiculed and mocked Jesus. And if he had a car stereo, he would crank it up not to hear Jesus or the thief. But the dying thief that repented began witnessing to the dying thief that did not repent. And the repentant thief went to glory, went to paradise, and he did it without a church. He was not baptized. No confirmation he was just a guilty thief who received a pardon. How simple can salvation be? Believe, confess, or repent, and ask. Because stop, drop, and roll does not work in hell. There is no fire exit in hell. There's no fire extinguishers in hell. If there are, and there will be firemen in hell, they can't put the flame out. The pharmacist that's in hell can't prescribe you pain medicine. And you'll be angry with the preachers that end up in hell. And the popes that are in hell, there's no hope in the pope. Only Jesus saves, but when you end up in hell, it's too late. Because you rejected God. It is your choice. You, not me, not the environment, not the government, you have chosen to reject Jesus Christ. It's so plain and simple. You know, let me tell you, 
another thing. I get fueled, fueled. I get powered up by the scorning. I was going to go home until the music was turned on. Now I'll just keep on preaching because I'm powered up. Because the Bible says, heaven and earth shall pass away, but my words shall not pass away. That God, he is worthy to be exalted above the devil. And as much as you hear the devil's music, I believe you ought to hear God's words. Only God's going to stop this preacher. I've been here six years. The best thing God can do is only move me or take me home. It's simple. It's over and over and over. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be Say, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. For God so loved the world that he gave. His only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. I have and I do believe what I preach. There is no greater ever than Jesus. There is nothing more livelier than the gospel. And there is nothing more extravagant than the word of God. There is nothing more than my Father that loved me, that sent forth His Son, that He might save a wicked sinner that I am. I'm still a sinner, saved. And God has sent forth If thou shalt confess the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart, thou shalt be saved. If we confess our sins, he is faithful and just to forgive and to cleanse. And when God cleanses sin, He washes it and He erases it. And He even erases the fragments. When I was a child in school, one of the jobs we would have is to clap the racers. We erase the board, the chalk, and the erasers would have to be clapped to be clean. And we'd take them outside and we'd clap those erasers and the dust would fall on the ground. That's not complete cleaning. Because there's chalk residue. 
But when Jesus Christ cleanses a sinner of their sins that they confess, it's gone. It's evaporized. There's no fragment. There's no material of our sin when we confess them before God through Jesus Christ and not a priest. You're going to confess your sins to a priest that may be having extracurricular activities with an altar boy like they are doing in France. And the Pope is like, uh-huh. Hey, Mr. Pope, they've been doing that to all countries. That priest that molests boys is going to absolve you of your sins? Those priests don't repent, they relocate. Move that priest somewhere else so he can violate other boys until the media finds them there. But God doesn't relocate sins under the blood. He vaporizes them. He erases them. He cleanses and He forgives. And He never remembers. You know, you could forgive somebody of the wrong that they've done for you. But, you know, it's hard to forget. But God forgives. And God forgets. And God cleanses. And God is able to wash our sins in the blood of Jesus Christ. And through the blood of Jesus Christ, we be cleansed. And only through Jesus Christ. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. It's simple to believe that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the light. There is nothing like or more than Jesus. There's nothing better than speaking about Jesus. There's nothing cleaner than Jesus Christ. And you say, you know, it would be fine and dandy if the preacher did not use amplification to exalt Jesus. And I tell you, Jesus Christ saved my soul to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. And thou shall be saved. God gave me a street preaching voice to exalt Jesus. I am not ashamed of the gospel of Jesus Christ.